What is up you guys, my name is Selena and today is going to be a new tutorial in Premiere Pro showing you guys how to do this keyed out wipe transition. This was inspired by Gibson Hazard and you can also do this in After Effects and it will actually look a lot nicer for you for certain clips if you use the rotor brush tool but I'm going to show you guys how to do this in Premiere Pro. Because I know more of you guys use Premiere. So I have my two clips and it really doesn't matter what your two clips are. Um, in his videos he uses like one of the performers and he masks them out. Uh, but for this one I'm just going to use a bird. But the first clip doesn't really matter but for this one I just have a hyperlapse. So we're going to make the transition appear with the bird coming in and then we're going to wipe it out. So you're going to want the second clip to overlap the first clip and then we're going to hold all on the second clip and bring it up to the third video line and then we're going to work with our third clip. And so you're going to want to key out the background which is why this might not work for a lot of clips but this clip the sky is all blue so it'll be easy to key out. So I'm going to search up color key and effects but you can also use masking if you want but that might also be hard. So if you really want to, you can go to After Effects and use the Rotor Brush tool. But since this clip has a good, nice background, I can use the Color Key tool. Choose the key color and then pick the blue point and it will easily key out. But first I'm going to turn off the eye of my second video line so I can see what's going on. And we can drag the color tolerance until we see just the bird and its full body. And then you can feather it if you want, so I'm just going to feather it a little bit. And then if you see some excess parts that couldn't key out with the blue, so for example in this one, you could still see like these white parts. Drag the color key effect onto the video again, and then for this one, I'm going to choose the key color and point it on the white parts. And then use the color tolerance tool to get rid of all of that. And yeah, it looks nice until the end, but we're gonna have the transition take place before that, so the ending won't really matter much. Okay, so now that you have a nice keyed out clip with just your person or object, or in this case, my bird, you can key from the position so that it doesn't like randomly show up on the clip. But I'm gonna drag the bird at the beginning of the clip all the way to the left and then press the keyframe button and then just go a little bit forward and then press the reset button so it's coming in from the left um, this will just make it look better than just appearing randomly but you don't have to do this if you don't want to and then we're gonna turn the eye back on for our second clip and we're gonna use the transition now so let's search up linear white and this is like a transition that's already in Premiere Pro so we're gonna put linear wipe on our second video clip so if you drag the transition complete from left to right you can see the image transitioning from the two clips but the bird is still in both clips which is pretty cool and you can also change the wipe angle, so if you want it to appear from the bottom, we can change the degrees to 180. Okay, so go to where you want the transition to start, and then press the keyframe button for transition completion. And we'll keep that at 100%, so it's still our hyperlapse clip. Then we're going to go just a little bit forward and change that to 0%. So now... It just wipes up and you could have definitely used different angles and then you can bring the keyframes closer together so it looks faster and more smooth. And yeah, you can use the same techniques in After Effects by using the Rotor Brush tool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.